Hi everybody, this is Ravi here from the Web Shack. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you um, under Theme Settings Portfolio tab. I'm going to show you how to set up this this area. Um, we don't um, have this uh, portfolio pages generally for e-commerce, but it's quite a nice thing to have if you want to want. Um, basically, um, in this tutorial, well, I mean, like we always say, Theme Settings is basically your appearance and um, your typography and your overall look and feel of the whole entire website. So that's basically, this is the overall look and feel of the portfolio page. To actually set up portfolios, let me show you what a portfolio looks like. These can just be your projects, you know, and when you click on it, it goes for more, to, into more information about that project. So maybe, you know, you might want to add this function if, you add, if you're selling um, you're basically selling more services and you, you have other stuff that you have portfolios for that you want your customers to see. Uh, generally, people that have online stores just sell products, but who knows, you might want to have a nice portfolio um, on your website. So um, in another tutorial under pages, um, uh, we, we have a tutorial for how to, how to set up um, uh, projects, how to you know put in the content and so on. But that's another tutorial. This tutorial, we're just going to show you how to uh, get the whole kind of vibe of it like this, you know, like the filters here and and how you want it to look. OK, so let's start. OK, so let's go over here. I click on portfolio, um, disable portfolio or on or off. So that's self-explanatory. That's whether I want the portfolio, if you want portfolios or not. These two, I'm not going to go through. You don't have to worry about it. That's set up for you. Portfolio style. Okay, so basically over here, this is this is basically the alternative kind of style. Um, so you can play with play go through each one. So that's alternative. So it's you know it's just the way the way it's kind of the vibe of it. Okay, so uh, you have to play you have to go through it. You can, you have to go through each one and and see how they look and just save options as you go. But at the moment that's just sitting alternative. Okay, project options. Okay, show category filters so that's basically these filters over here you know do you want to show them or not okay um, and like I said this is just this is just saying whether you want to show uh, category filters or not in the other tutorial we show you how to add portfolio items and so on that's where um, you you'll get an idea of how to create categories and so on so that's another tutorial okay um, color scheme do you want it light or dark okay so um, this this is more of a, a lighter uh, theme, but you you can I mean a lighter kind of template, but you can play with those. Uh, the background of the whole thing, so you can have a background color here or, or a background color, or you could have um, you could upload an image and you can choose whether you want the image repeated and so on over here. Okay, um, let's go down a bit now. Do you want it full width? Okay, so at the moment it's not on full width. It's just in the middle. So full width is if you want um, your portfolio items to start there. Okay, so it depends how you want to do that. Okay, so um, then how many projects do you want to show uh, in a row? At the moment, sitting on three. So those are three. Obviously, if I change to four, it'll be four and so on. Okay, space between the projects. So between the gap between them, how big do you want it? At the moment, sitting on 30, but you can have zero if you don't want any gaps, if you just want these to be sitting like just next to each other straight. or Two or you know you play around with that. Okay, how many how many items would you like on a page? How many portfolio items? How many projects would you like on a page? Okay, so let's go here. So at the moment three six nine, uh, three six nine. Okay, so this is just nine. Before I click uh, load more. Okay, so that's on twelve. So you could make this nine or whatever you want. This is paginization. This is basically what do you want this to be? Load more or do you want it to be paginization links meaning Go to page two, or do you want it infinite scrolling? So you can choose one out of these three. At the moment, sitting on load more. So if I click load more projects, it goes into um, the next the next few projects that come up. Okay. Um, then this this is the this is how you want to order your projects. So do you want to order by date? So this obviously all the newest projects will come at the top, um, and all the older ones will come at the bottom. Or you could do by title, ID, title, and so on. Okay, so you could play around with that. Um, how do you want it to to be presented? Descending, or ascending. Okay, so you can play with that. Descending is no, the normal one. Okay, when you click on a project, 
see, sorry, I keep going there. You, it, when, if you click on a project, so now you, I'm looking at a single project now, okay? Um, this is just the, another tutorial, I'll show you how to set that up. How do you want this to look at the bottom? Okay, so let's go look here. Um, let's see, so related projects, basically that's saying, related project, that's saying, based on this project, it has related projects to whatever you've chosen, okay? So which is quite nice, you can even, you can have a whole lot under there. Um, Let's go back here. Project title in page heading. Um, so that's basically just saying, sorry, I keep going there. Um, that's basically just saying, do you want the project title or not? Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Um, okay, what else? That's it. That's basically the portfolio page. Um, and yeah, um, in another tutorial, you can you can learn how to add portfolio items if you want one on your e-commerce um, website. Thanks very much for watching.